When I think about the aesthetic of Hook, it always lands somewhere, I would say, as a, a rustic sci-fi. It, its buildings don't quite know what time they're meant to be in, but I think as a result of that are, are rather timeless. A lot of that is because they're working with what is viewed commonly to be an old material, that is wood, and yet we're approaching wood with every piece of modern technology that we have convinced that if we bring new advanced robotic cutting technologies, computational tools, 3D scanning tools, that if we bring all of these things to bear on the forest, we might better understand it. My name's Zach. I'm a Canadian, I guess I like to say, architect and maker and educator in recent years. My role in Hook is a split one. I'm the Hook Park Warden. Um, I'm also a tutor for our Design and Make Master's program. Hook Park is a 350 acre mixed woodland in the middle of southwest Dorset. It's used by the Architectural Association, one of the oldest architectural schools. The AA has been a place of independent thinking. It's been a place of radical and very notable graduates. The AA itself has two unusual homes, we like to think. Its first is Bedford Square, and its second is Hook Park. In Hook, our students are building buildings with the trees surrounding them. They're working with the team to directly take those trees from the forest, as sensitively as they may, to work with them carefully and learn about their properties and only having done all of that to then deploy them within their build projects. Sustainability is, interestingly in Hook, a word that, that we don't say so often, but, but I think that's fundamentally because it's the core focus and it's almost too obvious for us to focus on. An incredible and, and really essential part of Hook is that Hook is a place of work, but it's also just a place of life. Right now, around 20 of us, Hook is full-time home. For myself, since around 2015, I've been living in, I guess, three different student-built houses for varying periods of time. It's a rather amazing part of the site, I guess, that in each year, students adding buildings to the site. Living in Hook is an unusual thing because you realize that most people spend their life in normal buildings with maybe 10% of their time in something unusual. To live in Hook is to spend 95% of your time within something unusual. Such an important aspect of the day in Hook is that at 1 p.m. there's no bell, but everyone knows that lunch is gonna be on the table. It creates a moment of pause in the day, creates a moment for discussion, catching up and planning out what needs to happen in the afternoon. In recent years, there's been some exciting opportunities to kind of, I guess, broaden our engagement with the site. And so I think in being approached by the team at Folk to, in the first instance, use some of our unusual creations um, as a kind of scene and, and a context, I think what came out of some of that was some really exciting conversations on the importance of clothes and of fashion, of function and durability, and, and finding, I think, just a surprising amount in common, despite the fact that we exist in supposedly separate fields. Our role in designing is, is to make things not only beautiful, but, but better. What with luck will we'll just simply continue because it's too obvious not to, to be forever this site's focus is an understanding of how to design in sympathy with the natural environment.